Hello, I'm Jordan Fladell, the CEO of M-Level, the micro learning platform built to solve today's greatest challenge, reaching today's modern learner. That's right, our brains have changed as of our expectations. We now live in an on-demand world where we expect information in our fingertips in bite-sized chunks. As a matter of fact, most of the information we receive is in our 140 characters or less, yet the learning we receive is stuck in a large format modality. And we work with our clients and partners to help them overcome this challenge. The second challenge we focus on in our business is that companies and education institutions focus a ton of money on instructor-led, virtual-led, and all types of training that most of their employees and students forget within the first 20 days after they've been exposed to it. Right? Yet every company goes out, and when, we, when you think about it, they continue to make the significant investment into this instructor-led experience, this web learning experience. We've basically taken the same format, and we've basically repurposed it into a different modality. What we do at M-Level is we break it all into bite-sized chunks, we make it highly engaging, and we get that learner to do is repeat engagement over and over again. And we all know what we do when we get practice, right? When we practice something over and over again, we start to retain it. We impact that forgetting curve. We do this by focusing on some key methodologies. First thing we do is really focus on that retention, right? We do that via short burst information delivery. We then focus on making learning performance focused, right? You'll see here we talk a lot about true analytics. M-Level is a completely data-driven learning platform. So we're not stuck in SCORM. We're not worried about XAPI. We're actually measuring what people do and don't know. We're bringing to the education and training community what has been in the athletics industry for 10, 15, 20 years now, right? We can tell an athlete what their actual fast twitch muscle, res muscle response time is, yet we can't tell what a student is struggling in math without having to really sit down and do a one-on-one -on -one experiment, right? We focus on that analytics. We make everything accessible, regardless if you're carrying a mobile device, you're carrying a laptop, you want to download it via your LMS, your portal, your CRM system, or even deliver via e-commerce. We're truly focused on the enablement of learning that way. And we want to make sure people can maintain focus. You'll see a little bit, a few slides of our, our work with Pearson. We have students telling us that they learn more through our platform because they're not allowed to be distracted during the learning experience. They're forced to engage. Imagine that where a student has no choice but to be engaged in the actual learning itself. And what happens at the end of this is you see an impact to that forgetting curve. The students and the employees you invest all those dollars in in training, they retain the information. They can put it to work. They can, make, they can go apply that into their real world experience. And that's what we at M-Level are all about. So how do we do it? First thing we do is we allow our partners to create engaging experiences. They can come in without understanding a line of code and deploy learning literally within six to eight hours of creating the content off any device anywhere. They can make these learning experiences extremely brandable. So you can see here some work we did with Nike where Nike was able to take their brand, impart it into their users, and have them engage over any device anywhere across the globe. And in Nike's case, this was actually done in Mandarin Chinese for their individual audience. We, tra we translated it to English for here today just to make sure everybody could read it. And then finally, we focus on those analytics, right? And again, I'm not talking about, hey, let's see what the SCORM package said or what our XAPI fed th said to measure questions. I really want to tell you what people do and don't know. Because if you go do a review with an individual, or you meet with a person one-on-one, -on -one, you help them understand their weaknesses, they're empowered to go overcome that, and they're more loyal to you. Versus just going through an employee feedback where you said, hey, you got an 80%, you're good to go to the floor. What if the 20% they missed was the most important part? Foundationally, how do they recover? They don't. Right? Yet we've assumed they've passed. My favorite is in compliance. Right? You do compliance training, you finish compliance, you take your test, you finish, and now you all just understand that you're never going to make an error again. You'd ask the financial institutions how many people are violating anti-money laundering laws because they truly don't understand that are check handling procedures, right? It's because they're compliant, they've passed the test. So who do we do this for? We do it for a lot of companies. We've been doing this for about three years. Uh, we're very diverse in what we do. We focus on large enterprises as well as large publishers. And we don't carry any content on our platform. We rely on these companies to create their own content or partner with us to distribute it. We're really focused on reaching the end user and providing the analytics to the organization that invest in that to allow them to see the differences and the experiences of, of what they gain from individuals who engage in that content. Um, I'm going to dive into two particular case studies just to give you an idea of some of our work across the enterprise and through publishers. So you'll see up here our work with ADP. Uh, ADP came to us and gave us a challenge. 
They said, we are running self-study programs for our call centers. Now, anybody here who knows about call center onboarding, the amount of time you invest in call, call center onboarding has a direct correlation to how long they're going to stay with you as an employee, right? It, it, there's turnover anyway. No one grows up at the, ball, uh, at the playground and says, hey, I want to be a call center rep, right? It's not the thing you think about when you go to play at the playground. They came to us, they said, hey, we want to take our, your content, put it into our program, we want to remove self-study and use M-Level to do self-study. They did it with two call centers, the two call centers at M-Level, you could see from the results, had the same exact score with no instructor, no video, no additional place, but they had a double percent in satisfaction, right? So they went from a 2.43 to a 4.29 satisfaction rate, and now at and I mean, excuse me, ADP is going to save north of a million dollars from investing in this program just for moving their self-study. And recently, about a year and a half ago, we actually brought our product into the education landscape. And this is where things got interesting for us because what we're talking about here at the ASU GSV conference is the collision of both of those. And you'll see here with Pearson, not only do we get great success from the students, we got great success from the professors, and we're getting about an average of an hour plus engagement time per student on our platform. Right? They're engaging on their own choice to come in and learn via our study aids for an hour plus for each subject they engage with. Right? Some of the quotes we're seeing, as I mentioned, were related to I'm not distracted, I can't, I can't look away from the screen, otherwise I'll miss the answer. And so finally, at M-Level, we are see ourselves as the enablement of a big wheel. And this wheel comes from the LMSs to the CRMs to the devices. We partner with all of them, we integrate them with all of them. Our focus is on enabling that distribution. And thank you for your time. Look forward to meeting you later at the conference. Thank you.